How exciting, Daniel, if you're listening, I can't wait to see what you'll change. I can't wait to see either. Let me give you like a little rundown tour of the island and what's happened in the like 580 hours I've played this game. <laughs> Over there, abandoned, kind of like between the happy egg bunny arch is Boone's grave. Here's the campsite area. Uh, here's the great prison wall that blocks off the right half of my island. Here is the future site of a bridge for my town that I'm finally gonna be able to put in because of the update. Here is the newest area of town. This is O'Hare's cliffside cottage, complete with massive waterfall feature. Uh, unfortunately, there's currently no stairs, which means O'Hare actually has been trapped at, uh, just in his home for like the past two weeks. Uh, let's stretch. This is new. If you have been advised to limit physical activity or are unsure about working out, choose buttons. Well, I am a gamer. It's the banger. They're all going to be dancing in the club soon. The YMCA, but we're stuck on the first bit. Does this follow it at all? I don't think it does. I think I hit myself a little too much with the gorilla pounding. I shouldn't- I shouldn't have had that much exercise. Hey, I sent you a notice about this through the mail already, but you can expand your home storage even further now. It's like last time, you'll need to pay the construction fees up front. Alright, give me one second, Tom. Every time you ask me to upgrade something, it's absurdly expensive. Um, which is why I've come prepared this time with 3 million bells in savings. Cannot take a loan to cover the fee, so you'll need to pay 700,000 bells in advance. Like, Tom, you're not even letting me take out a fucking mortgage on this. Like, that's insane. Just for some extra cupboard space. But sure thing. I believe something that you can now do is you can build more bridges and inclines. Oh, I need a license. Oh, I gotta buy the permit. Oh, it's all bells and whistles with you, Tom. You won't hand anything for fucking free. Also, do you want to buy a Nintendo Switch? Look at the markup on this. It's gonna cost you 6,000 more bells for the Animal Cross and Slap of Paint. It's just like real life, ain't it? Be a chef DIY recipes, pro camera, custom designs plus. Triangular topiary. Oh shit. A flower bed. <gasps> oh, this is a game changer. Oh. Oh, yeah, I want that one. Mail that to my home. Oh, Tom Nook is draining like all of my currencies right now. A stonework kitchen. A sea bass and a clump of weeds. <laughs> sure, you know, that's a spice. That's very cute. This was the last found footage of a poor resident on the island who did not repay their home mortgage. Their knees were found beat in with a hammer. <laughs> Pay your loan. Pay your loan. I can flex. Did Isabel clap for that? Act natural. <laughs> That's not how you act natural. Like, just blend in in the crowd. Don't arouse suspicion. My god, there's still so much I want. I didn't even get the merry-go-round. The Ferris wheel. You can make like a little theme park on your island. The train. Look at the train. Fuck you, Tom Nook. I was financially secure. Should I build the incline so that O'Hare can finally leave his home? I might need that. Oh, I kind of want the bridge though. <laughs> but I have 198,000 bells as a donation, friend. Hey, could you just help me out? You got any- I just need a bit of spare change for the bus fare home. Just $200,000 if you have it handy. How can I help you today? I need people- residents to start paying their fair share in tax. <laughs> I'm sick of funding all these bridges by myself. Do you know how much I owe that raccoon? Wait, Bell Boom. There is a money ordinance. This would cause the cost of goods in the island to go up, but so would the amount of folks get from selling. <laughs> oh shit, we can raise the prices. <laughs> I'm gonna enact fucking inflation on my poor people. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. I had this idea in three previous Animal Crossing games, but I had amnesia. So I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine who also happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's close up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. That is a photograph of him. Should you find him, tell him I'd like him to come to Tatali. Oh shit, he's gone missing. We gotta track him down. Brewster disappeared, he didn't pay his taxes so he could on the run from the IRS. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find him. Here's Brewster, oh my god. This is a photo of Brewster. There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. It says, you'll never take me alive. I mean, we're going for the IRS route at the moment, so let's, let's get the business suit on. 
Wait. Blue Bear, what are you doing here? I just got in. Thanks for letting me in. You kind of just let yourself in, Blue Bear. Oh no, this is awkward. I've. Ha <laughs> um, don't look at that wall, Blue Bear. That is unfortunate as the one villager in my town who I have a small shrine erected for. Yeah, she's leaving. <laughs> she saw the shrine. <laughs> I mean business now. Fucking sunglasses. <laughs> I have to conceal my identity um, from the taxpayers, because otherwise they'll probably come burn down my house. What have we here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. Name's Cap'n, what's yours? The IRS? I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for, for miles. Might he talks a bit like a pirate. Might even take you where there be tre treasures. Me tours go to places ye can only reach with me boat. Round trip fare will cost you a thousand miles. Aye, aye, Captain. Yar, let me, let me nickel and dime ya. Oh, he's singing a song for us. The frog croaks out songs that don't make any sense. He's an old frog, so he can't hit any high notes. Ain't a frog that I be. Fortune smiles upon me. But I'll sing the frog song. And if you can... You should sing along. Reach for your dreams, Daniel. Don't become washed up like me. Remember when you hear this song. Life is a trip full of discovery. I can clap. To the lucky fool who finds this. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. I never cease to amaze myself. We're just in character now for the IRS, aren't we? This is perfect, thank you. Oh shit, he's here! Pay your taxes, Brewster. The jig is up. Cool, you out here looking for gyroids too. You know I I'm looking for you. <laughs> I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. Well, this is what I envision as the heart of the movement. A central plaza filled with co-ops. Now here's the business part where it gets kind of ugly. Oh no, you need money as well. Okay, you call it a fundraiser. This is me give you money. That's called a sponsor, Harvey, and I want a return in revenue that this plaza generates. From a mysteriously accurate fortune teller, our goal is 100,000. All right, first one down. <laughs> We're no longer accepting donations? Oh, we can only fund one a day. Let's make tomorrow come today. And you know what tomorrow brings, right? It's time for the new economy. That benefits me. Capitalism has found our island home. And it's time for me to turn a profit. Animal Cross. <laughs> the Bell Boom Ordinance is in full effect, starting today. The price of items will go up a bit. Let's all do our part to support the local economy and put more bells in my pocket. Oh, I'm very happy to announce that our museum is adding a cafe. Oh, that's lovely. It's Starbucks. That's all for now. I hope you all, all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh, what a lovely day, Isabel! What a lovely, lovely day! The Kubrick stare is often what's used to indicate a character's peak of derangement. The time to be the first to hear my exciting news. You're moving away, you say? Do the prices in this new economy not suit you, Anka? Do you think you can escape the bubble that easily? You can't go. You have no say in this world now. Pardon me, I must alert the realtors, box supplier, and moving company that the move is cancelled. You can expand your home storage even further. <laughs> how much How much are you going to charge me, Nook? How much does it cost for storage now? 900,000! <laughs> oh my god, this goddamn raccoon. Well, I have to expand Harv's Island. I have to b finish all these inclines. I only had three million bells. I think it's all gonna be gone because of fucking storage. Streamer goes at the debt live on Twitch. It's so expensive. <laughs> it's the fucking cheek of him. He installed an ATM. <laughs> well, you're gonna need a lot of cash for that fundraiser, but it's okay. We take card here. The shaggy dog with round glasses walks slowly along the sand. He's so focused on his vision that he does not realize that poo from the yellow bird has landed on him. Oh, was that about me? I'll keep that in mind. It just got nailed yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that term means what Harvey thinks it does. Is that really my fortune, Katrina? Well, I did just have sex yesterday. Another hundred thousand bells. To be a hairdresser once upon a time. Been a while, but my clippers are still sharp, and so is my style. Sitting on some bold hairstyles, I'm just itching to try them out. What do you say? 
Oh, she just works away. Oh, no. Oh, that's actually not too bad. There's more storage in your home now. Yes, yes, perfect. Restored all sorts of furniture and things. I think we can expand your home storage even further. Do you want to give me more money? Every home has a limit for potential storage space. This next expansion would be your final. The logistics will be tricky. You'll want to ensure high quality work. Quality requires an upfront payment of... It's everything. It's everything. <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> Let me think on it. I want to take part in a ceremony, Daniel. I'm celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. Is <laughs> the museum or a hill? No, well, let's see what the hill celebration is. Blend it. Let's get started. <laughs> There's barely enough space. Finally, of access to O'Hare's home. It's like lashing rain as well. Fucking Fushka's like across the river. <laughs> Hooray. Just in the lashing rain. Oh, I forget these are the other pictures. <laughs> I like to begin our special set. Did they tear down my fucking bushes? What the hell, guys? Next, I'd like to thank the one who tracked Brewster down. Our I IRS representative, Daniel. Only right that we got a comment from Daniel as well, hmm? Ending the ad. It wasn't easy to catch the bastard. Hiding deep on a deserted island, I had to lay a trap with a net. I got him in a leg snare. He was dangling from a tree. He begged me to let him go. I poked him with some sticks. I kept him dangled there for three days suspended until he got hungry and agreed to my demands. That's how we got the new cafe. Good for us. What happened to my... F I had a flower cart there. Like, I'll take the picture. But why did you have to destroy the land? Oh shit, he's here. So this is Isabel's brother. He's only in uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. You can get him back. Thank you so much for inviting me today. That's awesome. Here, let's get a nice old picture. Good to see you, Digby. Oh, it's snowing. Oh shit, the snowflakes on this island too. Oh my god, you can actually catch these. I said you can catch these. You can... It's gone. Press X, Dan. Oh, you can... Captain, I'm terrified of the ocean. I don't like being out in the open water like this. I don't know what's down there. I don't know if this one does it for me, Harriet. It's Willy Wonka. <laughs> Oh no, you're kind of right, I see it. I can make that if I go out and catch a fish. This directly implies now that you kill the fish you collect in Animal Crossing. We're actively turning them into dishes. Like, because there's octopus villagers in this game, but there's octopus that you catch in the ocean. Does that mean I can cook my villagers? Getting a bit hungry, how you doing, Roald? <laughs> I just go up to most of the villagers now, like, can I cook it? Villager edibility is now something we must consider. Oh, that's so cute. You can show it off. <laughs> Behold. Do we have a concert in the rain? Give me that one song. Give me that deep cut. What's it called? It's the new trend on our island home. Right on, let's get the show started. Going out to Daniel. It's capitalism time. That's, the, that's, that's one of the classic themes. That's the wild world theme. Wild world is capitalism. Anka is not pleased by this song. Did he give me a copy of it? No. He didn't give me a copy of it. What, what one do you have to request for that? Capitalism isn't free. I guess that's the message of that song, yeah. Now, me, me, now, me, now.